Hello, my name is Mimi and this is my first ever crochet video. I'm super happy I was able to document the process of making this skort. And this video is a tutorial in the loosest way possible because I don't really explain things very clearly. But if you would like to follow along, you'll need a tapestry needle, a 3.5mm crochet hook, And I'm be I'll use the Bernat Softy Cotton yarn, and this is a lightweight yarn. It's only a three, um, category three, and it's the color golden. So to start, I'll be using a pair of my own shorts as a guide. So I'll make a chain the width of my own shorts that measures out to be 56 chains. Looking back, I do wish I would have made them about an inch or so bigger than my existing shorts just so um, it would be easier to put on and off, but these shorts will have an elastic band so you can make that part smaller for a more snug fit. For the first 10 rows, you'll be working only half double crochets, no increases yet. I ended up making a chain of 56 stitches. For the first 10 rows, you're just going to half double crochet in each stitch. When you get to rows 11 through 13 is when you're going to start adding your increases in. So find the middle stitch. For me, that was the 23rd stitch. And then you're going to half double crochet in every stitch, but in that 23rd stitch, you're going to put three half double crochets into that middle stitch. For row 14 is where it's going to start to flare out on the legs a bit more. So you're going to put two half double crochets in the first stitch, three half double crochets in the middle stitch, and two half double crochets in the last stitch. So it should be two half double crochets and then just half double crochet till you get to the middle stitch put three half double crochets in that middle stitch and then half double crochet until you get into the last stitch and in the last stitch put two half double crochets in that one stitch. Next you're going to alternate between rows 13 and 14 until row 25. For rows 25 through 28 you're just going to half double crochet with no increases and this is because we don't want to make the crotch area too big and you should make two front panels. For a more detailed explanation you can watch Chenda DIY's video. Um, hers is very thoroughly explained. This is just kind of thrown together. So I've just finished making this front panel and so the top of this should meet the normal top of yours and it should go down to the crotch area. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So you see that goes down to the crotch at the bottom. That's how long yours should be. So it should meet at about the same point. 
of your normal shorts. So after you make the first front panel, you're gonna wanna make a second front panel. So you have two in total. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is you're gonna get one of your front panels, find the middle stitch. So this is the middle stitch for me. Insert your hook. Secure your yarn. And pull up a loop and chain one. So after you've done this, you're going to chain 10 into that middle stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you're gonna chain 10, and then you're gonna grab your second front panel in the middle stitch. And you're going to insert your hook into the middle stitch, and then you're going to slip stitch. So I know that wasn't very clear, but you should have the front panels connected by the middle stitch with the chain, like so. And again, you should watch Chenda's video about this. It's much more um, clearly explained. Okay. After that, you're going to fasten off after you've connected those two pieces. And you're going to attach your yarn into the first stitch. Secure your yarn. double crochet all the way across once you reach the second piece so I've half double crocheted all along this way and now I've reached this part you're going to half double crochet into the stitch where you came out, where you inserted um, right into that middle stitch. And then you're also going to half double crochet across that chain. And again, for a more clear explanation, really you should go watch Chenda's video because I know I'm not explaining it very well. crocheting across that chain into that middle stitch on the other side. And then just back down. So this is what it should look like at this point. After you finish the first row, you should have a crotch piece right here connecting the middle to the on both stitch to the front. And then this is the one row we just worked all the way around this side through the chain and we worked it on this side also. So I crocheted a little bit at work so I wasn't able to film what it looked like um, 
when it only had one leg done but I took a picture so this is what it looked like when one leg is complete and then I pretty much just mirrored it and did the exact same thing on the opposite side. So I just finished doing both of the legs so this measures four inches so about, it's 12 rows on each leg so 12 rows this one on 12 rows on this one also. So next I'm going to seam up the sides and then I'm going to put the elastic in the waistband and then I'm going to figure out how in the heck I'm going to do the front part of the skirt. Okay, so I just finished seaming up the sides, I don't know if you can see that, and I seamed it up until the fourth row on each, so I seamed it all the way until the fourth row in each side. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it over and sew the elastic on the, on the inside of that. So to start that, I'm just going to take the elastic and measure it around my waist, um, however much I need, and then... I will sew it into the skirt by folding the top portion over top of it and sewing it into itself. Oh, actually, I have to sew the elastic together first before I do that. So I just finished weaving in all of the ends, and this is what they're looking like with the elastic waistband in. It is a little bit small, like I should have made it a little bit bigger and just made the elastic smaller so that it would fit well, but I can still get it on, but it is a little tight. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain this length from this across, um, not the, like, the front and the back, just the front way, um, and then I'm going to work that up the entire length of the shorts in the linen or the moss stitch as a lot of people call it. So I've started my chain. Okay, so I've made my chain. It is the same length of the front. So I've completed the shorts, they're sewn together, I've completed this front piece which I didn't account for is shrinking, like it kind of shrunk a little bit towards the top, but that's okay, and it came out a little bit smaller than I expected, but it has the moss stitch on it. So I've got this front piece completed, I made two ties. To make the ties, I just chained um, 62, and then I did a double crochet on two rows. I'm going to line both of these ties in this white color to make them kind of stand out. And then also, I wanted to kind of go for a layered look. So to get that effect, I created this piece. And the way I did this was I chained 15 and did um, into the back loop only single crochets for this length down and then I turned it and I worked 10 I worked 10 stitches into the side rows and then I crocheted 10 of them and then I crocheted 
um, back loop single crochets for that amount. So it matches up. I'm not sure if you can see that right. Like that. So it's gonna have like a layered look and I'm gonna outline each of these pieces in these white color. So I'm trying to decide if I want this to be the top or the bottom since one side is a little bigger than each other. I might put this side at the top, put the other side at the bottom. No, maybe I should put this at the top. Or I could just stretch it, I'm like so it's kind of stretched. Do that. All in all, I'm really happy with how this turned out, and if you made it to the end of the video, then thanks for watching. Bye!